What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, Reese. And your girl, Raylene. And we're back with another video. If you guys are new to our channel and you never seen our face before, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notification bell on so you're notified every single time we post a Reese and Ray future cook video. <laughs> so, as you guys can see in the title, it literally just explains itself. Um, we're engaged. I know. So today is basically just going to be a sit down video of like explaining how it all went down. Explain of how it all went down. Uh, don't get annoyed of our engagement videos and stuff because we are super excited. Fiance's now. Mm -hmm. So she'd be like, bye fiance. I'd be like, love you fiance. Every time bye, we leave. Fiance, <laughs> fiance it's just, everything. It's a, it's, a cool, it's a cool word and we could finally say fiance. We changed our contact names to fiance. Mm -hmm. Changed our wallpapers. Uh, wallpapers. Everything. everything we're just super excited so i'm gonna basically like be talking a lot in this video because i'm gonna explain how it all went down my planning for everything how she messed stuff up all that type of stuff so we'll start from the very very beginning uh i don't have like specific dates we'll start like when you first went you went shopping in november no i'm gonna start when i talked to Dida. so oh, okay. we were over at my mom's house and i basically wanted to talk to my brother and did that about uh like marriage and uh proposing and all that type of stuff so i pulled them outside and i was like i want to talk to you guys really quick and so we sat down and i kind of asked did i like when did you know you were ready to propose to my mom like how did you know like what feeling did you have and what what was the click in your head that told you i'm ready to propose and i'm ready to spend the rest of my life with this woman um and he just told me like he just had 100% trust in her. He could see himself with her the rest of his life. He never had a doubt that she was the one um, and that he just wanted to get their life started as a couple or as a married couple. And I was like, and there was obviously more stuff to it that he said, but most of it, he just said like, when you know, you know. And I was like, okay, well, I wouldn't be asking this question if I didn't know. Like I was not, I was not, hey, should I marry her? I wasn't asking them, hey, should I marry her? Anything like that. It was more so of like, when did you know you were ready? And he just said, when you know, you know. And we've always like lived by that. That's like when we first moved in together, we just always told you guys, when you know, you from know. From the beginning. Literally from the beginning. That's if you go so back crazy. to our very first video, our Q and A, you will hear us say, when, when you, you know, know you, you know. know. <laughs> we should have. When you know, you know. I'm gonna title, I'm gonna caption my post today, when you know, you know. Yeah. yeah but so so that went by and then a week later i had texted my brother and i'm like yo what are you doing today and he was like i'm not really doing anything why and i was like i need you to uh come over here i'm gonna try and find screenshots of like my messages, messages even like pictures and stuff because you guys mind you i did not see this coming at all i was like if it's gonna happen it'll probably happen christmas eve when Christmas Eve came, it didn't happen. I wasn't sad or anything like that because I was like, I know that God has a path for me and when things are supposed to happen, it's going to happen. And, you know, it's all in his timing. And I was like, okay, I'm, I was like, okay, let's see. Because May 18th is coming up. I was like, maybe in May he's going to propose or my birthday, which is in February. So this caught me by surprise. And so when you were like, when he started explaining all the little things and every little thing that had happened and like slip ups that could have like blew everything that I didn't even know, I was like, that is God's grace because me of all people, I'm going to find shit out. And I did not see this coming at all. Like, yeah, it was so crazy. That day I texted Justice. Hopefully I found the message. If I found the message, I'm going to pop it up right now. So I texted Justice. I'm like, yo, on the ver on the lines of like, yo, what are you doing today? I need you to come over and let's go. Let's go. I just need you to come with me somewhere. And Justice was like, all right, Sally's is going to come over and hang out with uh, Raylene. They have to go do some stuff. So it's perfect. So I texted him. Then I texted Dida. And I'm like, yo, uh, I need you to come with me. And so I think they kind of knew. But when they got in the car, I was like, we're going ring shopping. They were like, oh shit. We went to uh, my buddy's shop. We went to go look for a ring. I didn't find anything, unfortunately. And then I went to a couple other jewelry shops and I ended up falling in love with one ring, right? I found the ring and it was like more on like the bigger side. It was more like bulkier, it was big, long story short. And so I got the ring. Right after I got the ring, I was too excited. Like they were like, all right, we gotta size it. Cause it was a size seven, she's a size four. So they had to size it down a lot. And 
they were like, okay, we need to keep it. And I said, no, I want to show like my family before. Like I was just too excited. I didn't want to just buy the ring and leave it there. Uh, her mom's house was right around the corner. So I had called her and I was like, hey, what are you doing? She said, nothing. I was like, all right, I'm on my way. And so Deanna was kind of like, had an idea, but didn't have, like wasn't for sure. So we pulled up. I have a video of me asking her for permission, but um, uh, or her, not permission, but I'm, I was asking her for her, her blessing, blessing, but I'm gonna post that in another video after this. Uh, and so I had asked her, of course Deanna loves me, so she said yes. yes. Um, <laughs> and after that, I had called her dad. When I called her dad, I, saw, I said, what are you doing? He was around, like he was down the street grabbing stuff at Walmart and I was like, yo, can you uh, come over to Deanna's? Came over and I had asked him. It was an iffy situation because obviously asking the dad is like, way different than obviously asking the mom. And so um, we had like a long talk about it and eventually he gave me his blessing at the end of the conversation. And so that was that, I was like, okay, hard part's over. Now I just need to start planning. <laughs> After I had left her house though, I was like, oh shit, well I gotta start planning this now. So yeah. then I hit up like every flower shop I could think of, ev or I didn't, I only know one letter, uh, like one, the people that have the big letters, so. The Desert Sage. Yeah, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm talking so much, but there's so much detail that goes into this and I want you guys to feel like you guys were there. Um, so I hit up Desert Sage. Shout out to Desert Sage AZ. I will pop up their app right now. They, if you need any like party rental, like lettering stuff, hit them up. They've done and like- we, We've had them for multiple occasions. Even my surprise 22nd birthday party. Yeah. You had them there. She had just got back from Mexico literally a couple hours mm -hmm. before that. And I had the letters locked in, boom. Instead of me putting marry me, I feel like it was so cliche. And so I wanted her to have to read before she like just looked and knew it said marry me. So I put my last name and I put Mrs. in front of it with a question mark. So it was like a little different creative way to say marry me. Mm -hmm. And so I, I got that locked in. Then I started hitting up family and I, I told my mom, me and my mom and did I, we uh, went to lunch at uh, this place, this pizza spot that we always go to. And we got the notebook, pen, and I told my mom because I couldn't invite everybody because I had to turn all my notifications off on Instagram. And I told everybody, don't text me because I don't want to like be showering. And then she walks by and like sees the notification and it says like party letter or letter rentals. And she's like, okay, why do you need letter rentals? Mm -hmm. So it was smooth with everything. But the thing is, is I was even like, she didn't know that she had to I look was, for something. Yeah, so. I, I was not even, and then like, he was making so many phone calls that I never seen or like noticed any of it because this dude is always talking to somebody on the phone. So I was like, he's always like, you know, taking phone calls or whatever. And I never thought to think anything of it. And mind you, he's been, he was planning this in November, right? It was yeah. like November-ish. So they did good. You guys all did so good hiding it from me. Good. So where was I at? The notebook, Perry's. Oh, with your mom. Perry's. Okay. So uh, we wrote down, I gave her the whole list that I wanted her to who I wanted her to invite because I didn't want to be texting everybody, everybody texted me back. So mm -hmm. the message said like, Jordan's popping the question Friday, December 30th at 4.30 p.m. Here's the address, be there or be square. Don't text him. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, ask me. So all of our family members and my friends and her friends did a really good job. Thank you guys so much for not texting me or calling me about any of this because it would have gave it up. So I had called her brother and I'm like, yo, I just want to let you know I'm proposing to your sister. He lives in California, so I was like, I'm proposing to your sister. I'd really love for you to be there. I know she would go crazy if you're there. Mind you, the last time he was in AZ was 2011. So it's been 10, 11 years since he's been down here. And so that was like a big thing. I was like, yo, I need her brother there. I told him, I said, I'll do whatever I need to do to get you out here, just let me know. So I didn't hear anything back from him after that phone call. And then Athena had texted me like a week prior to the, no, a few days prior to the proposal and said, Lorenzo's gonna make it. So I was like, oh my gosh, thank the Lord. So then my, the energy just went from like down here to up here. I'm like, okay, boom, got the other hard part done. Then I was like, I need flowers. So I hit up like a few flower companies and uh, shout out to Mia's Flower Shop on 16th Street um, and the I-10. They hooked it up. They, I had to get nine dozen of roses so that I can make the heart. The, the heart was like four feet wide, four feet tall. It was weird. It was like specific. And Desert Sage, the lady at Desert Sage, she set it up also. So 
she doesn't just do letters. Um, shout out to Mia's Flower Shop for, uh, I hit them up literally the, a couple days before and they got it done uh, the day of at like 10 a.m. So it was like perfect. I think they handpicked the petals too. Mm. Nine dozen of roses, that's a lot. Boom, flowers are done. The day before, it was Thursday. The proposal was on Friday. So Thursday at 6 p.m. I had a haircut scheduled. The day before the haircut, I called my barber and I'm like, yo, I need you to let me know that you don't have any appointments on Friday. Cause usually I'd get my haircut the day before we were doing something. Mm -hmm. I called him, I'm like, let me know that you don't have, that you can only get me in Thursday night. So he's like, all right, I got you. Boom, he got me in Thursday night. She didn't really ask any questions of it. And so I go and I'm like, dude, the proposal's tomorrow. I have nobody to play music. My uncle couldn't make it down from Colorado to do, uh, to play the saxophone. So I'm stuck. I'm hitting up all these violinists, these saxophone players, and they're like charging like ridiculous amount of money for literally to play one song. He was like, bro, shut up. And I was like, what? And he goes, my brother plays violin. I'm like, but your brother lives in Cali. And he goes, he's down here for the holidays. I was like, bro. Dang. It, it's like, it was meant to just happen. Yeah. I'm telling you, it was the grace of God. Like everything was happening the way it was planned and supposed to. Mm -hmm. So I called him or he called him and he's like, yo, what are you doing tomorrow? He was like, I got work at five. I'm like, dude, I'm doing the proposal at five. Everyone's meeting there at 430. So just let me know if you can get off. And he does like, his work is like gigs. And so the gig got canceled. So he was able to make it. Like, it was like just so weird. And so he was like, what song do you want me to play? I said, can't help falling in love, Elvis Presley. Boom. He learned it, literally learned it that night. Shout out to Lu Luis. Thank you, Luis. I'll pop up his app right here. Thank you so much. If you need a violin player in California or in Arizona, hit him up because he is legit. He brought a speaker. He dressed up. It was mm -hmm. perfect. Let's get to the day of. The day of the proposal. <laughs> I'm freaking out because, so the night before, so the girl's cousins are in town, right? Um, from Utah. And so they've been like going over to their grandma's a few times during the week just so they can spend time with their cousins. And it kind of like helped me out also because I needed time to like plan. I needed time to like just get away from the girls for a second. And so and I can focus. sit on my phone and focus. She's like, hey, the girls are going to go spend the night over there. Um tomorrow night, which she's talking about, which she's talking about Friday night, the night the of the night proposal. Of the so I'm like, no, they can't go over there because I'm proposing. So I need to figure out without telling her that the girls can't go over there. Then, um, unfortunately on Tuesday last week, her cousin had passed away mm -hmm. and they had a car wash for him. We were having that a car morning. wash for him that morning, the morning of the proposal. And the whole family knew. And like, so the whole family was like, we were at the car wash and everyone was like, kind of sneaking away, talking to me about it. Every time I stepped away from Raylene, I was on the phone with either Athena, my sister, or my mom, or Deanna. I'm uh, sitting there, I'm texting Athena on Instagram, like she's trying to mess everything up unintentionally. She doesn't even know what's going on, but she's messing it up. I, I'm, have, I'm about to have an anxiety attack. And she was it's like- It's because we went to the, we, go ahead. Yeah. So she was trying to plan <laughs> everything that day and so because in my head i was thinking like we're not doing anything today so let's take the girls to peter piper's let's go do this let's go to the store and shop for new year's because we were throwing a party yeah so we had a new year's eve party and so that morning we had the car wash morning of the proposal 9 a.m or 10 a.m we had the car wash boom we show up to the car wash we're holding signs at 11 30 or she texted uh the girl's grandma and was like hey, let's meet at Peter Piper or let's go to Peter Piper. And they were like, okay, let's go around 1.30 or 2. I said, no, that can't work because it's going to give too much time. It's, we're not going to be able to do the proposal. So I texted Athena. I'm like, yo, you need to call her and tell her we need to do Peter Piper earlier or schedule for another day. So Athena calls her or and then the girl's grandma texts Raylene and goes, okay, let's meet at 11.30. So I'm like, okay, thank the Lord. We're going to have more time. <laughs> so we go to the car wash. From the car wash, we leave to Peter Piper. We're at Peter Piper from 11.30 to like 1.45, 1.30, literally 1.30. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, uh, we're crunching on time right now. After the after the after after Peter Piper, Raylene's like, okay, we need to go to the store because we're having our New Year's Eve party tomorrow. We need to go to the store. We need to go to Bath and Body Works, get candles so our house smells good. I'm like, bro, like we like, we show up to Bath and Body Because I'm thinking that we have all this time on Friday. Like I'm like, we got time. Like we have nothing planned. We don't have the girls right now. So I was like trying to get everything done. So I was like stubborn, la, 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 living my best life. <laughs> so we show up to Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works is packed because they're having a sale. 
So I'm freaking out even more. The Yo, this long. line is long. They need to open up more registers. I'm literally, she was shopping for candles and I'm like, I'm gonna get in line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she didn't even think about it. So I, get, I just was like, Jordan doesn't like stores, especially if they're super busy, he doesn't like them. So I'm just like, Jordan's being Jordan. Like I'm whatever, I'm enjoying my day. It is what it is, so. We leave Bath and Body Works. We go to Fry's. So when we go to Fry's, it's a grocery store. So we go, we're getting our stuff. I'm like not even walking down the aisles. If we only need to grab one thing through that aisle, I'm that like, was, go get it. Yeah. Tell her, go get it. I have the cart. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. As soon as she throws the item in the cart, I'm moving. But also keep in mind, we had plans. Jersey was like, I need to film with you guys. So can um can you guys be at your house by three? So I'm like, oh my God, we got to rush. Like, And I don't like being rushed for anything. I was like, we got to rush and make a video with your sister. And then... um. Yeah, so then after the store, we So come after the home. store, we come home. It's about literally 2.50, 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We get home at 3 o'clock. Mind you, the proposal, we we're supposed to be at the proposal by like 4.45. So it's 3 o'clock. It actually worked out really, really good that we were busy that day because she didn't have time to think of anything. I wanted, so I told Jersey and Anthony, when you show up, you guys have to. So the game that we played to get her blindfolded, I'm telling you guys right now, this is the smartest way. If you are a guy out there and you're looking to propose to your girlfriend, take this idea. But it was also a trend, like a super popular trend right now. Too. Yeah. So on TikTok, you see like the index card, the date night challenge where they have the two index cards and they pick one and they choose, right? So I told Jersey, that's the video we're doing for your channel. So I knew about the video the entire time, but I acted like. Jers, come on, do we really got to film right now? Like, we have the New Year's Eve party tomorrow to throw her off. So they, they show up. Did. We it all share locations off. with each other. The whole family shares locations with each other just in case something were to happen. So I was like, okay, everyone's going to be at the park. I don't want her checking people's locations and they're all at one place at the same time. Like, it's going to give it up. And so when they showed up, when Jersey and Anthony showed up to the house, they turned or they took our phones. They were like, all right, give me the phones. As soon as they walked in, give me the phones. Give me the phones. She was on the phone with Athena, so she didn't have time to think. So it was perfect. And so I'm like, why do you need our phones? Like kind of being like mean about it. Like, I don't want to do the video. Like, why do you need our phones? Mm -hmm. So they took our phones and they were like, get dressed. I was like, I got a shower. And so we shot, I showered, she got dressed. I was hella confused. And I was like, I, at this time, they didn't even tell us what the video idea was. I was just like, what is going on? Like, what are you guys trying to do? Like, I thought they were going to like prank us or something. And then I didn't even know what to dress like. They came and they're like, just dress like this, like dress nice, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, well like my nice is a different level. Like, do I got to be in heels and a dress? Like, what's the vibe? And so I was just like, okay, well, I don't know what we're about to do. So I don't know, like. I didn't know, so I was like kind of dressed like comfy cute, I guess you can say. And then, um, finish explaining. I feel like you're explaining everything good. I know. Sorry, guys, don't there's skip through so this because lot. there's a lot. There's a like, lot. But we're getting to the end. Index card challenge starts. They tell us, yo, get before blindfolded. We before we leave, they told us, you guys are, you guys are going to be blindfolded and but we're, we're going to do the index challenge card. And I was like, okay. I was like, period. Like, they're going to spoil us. They're buying us food. I'm thinking like, okay, well, what if we go to Maple and Ash or something? Like, what do they got in there? Like, what do they have up their sleeve? And Anthony and Jersey are super random. And they like to do like just the most random like fun stuff. So I was just like, okay, fun. Like this is gonna be like a little adventure, like date night. We're all gonna be together. It's gonna be fun. So I was, I was like so down. I was like, okay, cool. Meanwhile, I didn't even know that this dude wasn't blindfolded the whole car ride. The, so they blindfolded us in the car, or they blindfolded us before we leave. We get in the car, and Raylene picks a card, and the card said Taco Shalango or salad and go. And it worked out perfectly because of course, if she picked salad and go, they could have just switched it. Yeah. So we go to Taco Shalongo and Taco Shalongo just opened up a spot in Buckeye. Mm -hmm. And so it was towards the location of the proposal. So it was perfect. So we are on the way over there. I have my blindfold off. Like I'm jamming out to the music with everybody. Like I'm over here like making faces at her and she can't see. She's the only one blindfolded in the car. We get to Taco Shalongo, I put my blindfold on. We go inside and we take off our blindfold. So we eat, we end up eating, and then they're like, at the end of the time, or when we're done eating, they were like, okay, now it's time for the next challenge. So we get back in the car, we and blindfold then, like, Jordan ourselves. And gets to pick this one. So we blindfold ourselves, I pick the next card. Of course it says, Mrs. Cook, Mr. Cook. Mm -hmm. Boom. They don't tell us what it is. We get in the car, we drive to the location. As soon as we pull up to the location, I just instantly like got teary eyed. I'm like, damn, this is really happening. Like I saw all the family. I saw the setup, like the lights were bright. It was perfect because it was cloudy. So the lights were showing. I'm like, okay, I'm about to propose. 
makes me teary eyed all over. So again. we pull up the whole family. Shout out to you guys again because even the kids were like Everybody's legit. Nobody was breathing. Quiet. Nobody was even <laughs> breathing. Like it was that silent. So I told the violin guy, dude, I, I told him, wait for my cue. Like, do not start mm -hmm. playing until I say go. They walk her over with the blindfold and like, I'm acting like I'm walking, like running into stuff. He was like, Anthony, he was like, Anthony, where do where I go? go? Tell me where to go. And me like, so from that point on, so I'm literally getting out of the car and I feel rocks. Like I hear the rocks, I'm walking in rocks. And I was like, okay, what the heck? And then we start walking more and then I, I was like, okay, I'm in dirt or something because my my heels are sinking in. I was like, so there's some type of grass or something. And then um, Anthony was like, I told you we're going to the banda. And like, they're so random. I was like, okay, I know we're about to do some type of activity. And literally in one of the videos, it's not the one that we posted, but in one of the videos, I was like, are we riding horses? Like, I thought like we were gonna ride horses or go see Christmas lights or something because that's the vibe I was getting. I knew we were outside. And then, yeah. It happened. And then it happened and should we just play the video and just yeah. go from there? Like in so the video we'll show off you guys, that way? Yeah, so we'll show you guys the video and my reaction and it was literally so cute. So here is the video, but before we get out of here, cause we're gonna end the video off with the video cause it's such a beautiful video. Thank you to Nick uh, Lamarck for putting the video together. Photos, thank you to David Radsick. I'm literally wearing his whole brand right now, Dreamer. <laughs> If you don't believe in yourself, who will? Um, and shout out to Cash. Um, he edits a lot of our videos as well. So shout out to you. And like mm -hmm. a lot of it was last minute with the with the media people. Like they just I told Because it was them, supposed to happen on the first, but the weather out here was gonna be is super rainy. Yeah, it was rainy. So I was like, she's not gonna want to stand in rain, even though she loves rain. And it would have been a cool picture with like the umbrella. So but good. I didn't want to do that because yeah, no. there's cameras involved and all that type of stuff. So, but yeah, we're going to end the video off uh, with that. But now it's on a journey to uh, wedding? our wedding and like being able to plan our wedding and like uh, figuring out our best man. Well, I mean, y'all know my best man, but like groomsmen and all that type of stuff. Um, we're just excited. We're like really in love and um, ready to start the next chapter of our life. And um, you guys get to literally see... We Marriage, tend to put, babies, new home. We oh, tend to put like literally our whole life on this social media platform. And so um, with that being said, you guys get to see a lot of our life together. And um, obviously we kind of try to keep the bad out of it because it's not always good, but we have nothing to complain about right now. We're super We're excited. So the girls are healthy um, and we get to start planning this wedding. And, and the girls are happy. They're like, when are we having the wedding? They're like, we want to be flower girls. Like they're super excited too. So... Our wedding is gonna be like, we don't want like something really, really huge. Of course we want like we a want nice venue intimate. and stuff, but we want it to be intimate and like with the people that we talk to and not just a bunch of randoms. And, and we already like are looking at our colors and like we're gonna film like us touring wedding I've been dreaming and... about being married and having a wedding since I was like young, like little girl. Like I've always been such a hopeless romantic. And so I'm so excited. And thank you to all of you guys so that are commenting, congratulations and stuff. Of course, we cannot get back to every single body. We've gotten so many comments and so many DMs and we're just so happy and we feel so loved and- We didn't know we were as loved as like everyone made it like come to light like yesterday yes. when we, when we posted it. And everyone was so happy. We had people like, everyone's like, I'm crying. And I was like, me too, girl. Every time I watch the video, I cry. I don't know, like it's just so, so special to me, so. Yeah, so, all right, with that being said, enjoy the video and there's gonna, the next few videos probably is gonna be content about yes. this engagement, <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoy it. And once again, if you guys are new to our channel and you never seen our face before, make sure that subscribe button, turn on post notification bell, on to notified every single time we post a recent right video. Enjoy the video, Thank you guys. Young kid, tongue tied, new face, wide eyes. Wasn't sure you were the one. Long nights went by, stuck by my side It was more than just some fun It takes some time to love sometimes In case you didn't know it But I will always show it Cause girl, I love you Joey! <laughs>
Sissy! Sissy! Sissy!